We are back, and I am joined, as promised, with Faith. She's new since November, correct? Correct. And you're doing all kinds of new and exciting things in Howard County, but I want to dive in. What do you think of us? What do you think of Kokomo so far? Well, I've been extremely impressed with the number of people here who are doing something rather than waiting for someone else to take charge of problems sure. and make a difference. So I'm excited about that. And people have also been extremely welcoming. I've felt extremely um, welcome and invited in to uh -huh. everything that's going on here. So it's been a great experience so far. And, and I want to, we kind of shared a story a little bit because you come from suburbs of Chicago, correct? And before we were on camera, she kind of shared a little sidebar with me about four-way stops and how it's so much different here because people will wave you on and, <laughs> and, and let you go first. So it's kind of a change of pace for you, correct? Well, the traffic is where I notice it the most. <laughs> first of all, it takes me six minutes to get to work, sure. which is really different. And the four-way stops, people are just so relaxed. They sit there, they wait, nobody seems anxious about whose turn it is. That strikes me as really odd. <laughs> just for being nice. No, I'm just kidding you. Um, so you're getting involved and you're being active in the community. So, so why do you think it's so important to do so? Well, I think that uh, it, an analogy probably is the best way to sure. explain that. Because if I close my eyes and imagine uh, a 500-piece jigsaw puzzle, mm -hmm. and I see that there are all these pieces, mm -hmm. they're different from each other. By itself, the piece might not be particularly attractive, but if you put it all together, you have one of those reproductions of a Monet, Monet painting sure. or the Eiffel Tower. And I feel as if that's what the community is like. Mm -hmm. The community is the same as that big puzzle that when we all work together, uh -huh. all those different pieces together, we can really make a difference mm -hmm. and ha make a, a great place. If we insist on being by ourselves and isolated, we have a lot less impact. Mm -hmm. So that's really, in a nutshell, I just see it as That's a, really good. Yeah. Did, that, was, that was an incredible analogy. Perfect for, I think, the community because it is important. And, and as you were saying, kind of in another conversation that we were having, there is this overlap of these members that you actually get to meet. Um, I know that there's been a lot of time go by between now and November, but you're, you're getting involved and you're staying active and it is so important, don't you feel? It is, and I think that as we become comfortable with each other and we know what other organizations are doing, then we can figure out where are the gaps, where are needs in the community that no one is meeting, how could we work together to meet those, or who's the right partner to step up and do something about it. And I've just seen great communication between mm -hmm. organizations. I've seen a lot of independent agencies that are not government funded but are just something that someone with a passion started mm -hmm. and so uh, that's exciting to me. And you mentioned partnership. Why do you feel like it is important to partner with these other you know members of the community, these businesses, these organizations? Why do you feel it's important to help with the, pu the public library? Well I guess I would say that we are uh, stronger together. Mm -hmm. That one entity by itself has limited ability. If we work together, mm -hmm. we can pool resources, we can share um, information with each of our clientele, mm -hmm. we can together uh, just, I think, accomplish quite a bit more. And I think that if you imagine uh, a fabulous community, mm -hmm. well, what does that what does that create? It creates a place where people come and visit mm -hmm. and that when they visit they want to go out from the, the home sure. of maybe a, a family member, they want to go out around town. So they spend money at our businesses, they um, put money back into our local Absolutely. coffers and then if people move here, and have seen is a, the better place to go to school. I know mm -hmm. there are exciting things happening right. with Kokomo Center Schools. Uh, so if someone moves in because they think, you know, I want to be part of that great school mm -hmm. system, then those people, again, they're they're helping with our tax base. Instead of having a sure. house that's in that's sitting empty because of foreclosure, we have people who are here supporting our community. So I think it, together, if we can make a strong community, it just is a, a cycle mm -hmm. where it gets better, you know, strength get strength. And you guys are on the ground floor of that so. as well. So that's that's really good. Now, can I put you on the spot and ask if there's anybody out there who's specifically wanting to partner with you guys that you know of thus far? 
Well, we, one of the things that we have coming up uh, that the board has approved and we're working on uh -huh. is uh, to have sponsorship on the side of a bookmobile that we have ordered, but mm -hmm. takes quite a while to make a bookmobile, so it's not going to be here really? immediately. Wow. But uh, we're looking at having a, some organization um, mm -hmm. or business have a logo on the side of our bookmobile along with the library information and to that would be like mobile advertising oh, for wow. whoever that is sure and uh, so we That's have kind of bringing in some of your big city to our city <laughs> <laughs> and we have actually had three parties express interest in that and we haven't Fantastic. even put out information really in terms of what that would cost or uh, how the payments would be made. So it is, um, that's exciting. That is exciting. What so, else is exciting going on? I, there's so much and I know you're just walking in but truly if you haven't been to the library recently there are all kinds of exciting things going on. We've had authors you know, the electronics. So tell me a little bit about what else is exciting that you find exciting. Well, one of the things that uh, we just did, which I thought was pretty fun, is that last Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, we had people out at the mall. Mm -hmm. We rented a little space near yes. Center Court, and we had a technology petting zoo. Mm -hmm. And the question from those three days, or the comment that was passed back to me that I thought was the best in many ways was an older woman who stopped by that booth, mm -hmm. looked at the people and said, why are you here? And the reason I love that question is that what it demonstrated is that she did not imagine a public library being in a mall with technology. Mm -hmm. It didn't fit with her traditional expectations mm -hmm. for the public library. and that's where we need to go. I mean, we need to be to be doing things that are sure. outside the traditional boundaries as things change and to reach people who would not have come in the library. But I thought that was a great comment. Mm -hmm. And so we did that. We have uh, coming up, we have some very exciting things happening for summer reading program. Sure. And one of the things is that we have tweaked the program somewhat. Mm -hmm. So we've tried to make some changes that are more customer friendly sure. uh, to make the the reading goals more achievable mm -hmm. to make the process when you stop by the library mm -hmm. and check in to be smoother quicker mm -hmm. and uh, to add in some fun elements we will have a couple of different things that involve gnomes because it's <laughs> the theme. I already know a few people that are out there right now that are be like what? Gnomes. Gnomes <laughs> at the library. It in, our theme is dig into reading. Uh -huh. And so there are a couple of different ways we'll be tying in the un, those underground gnomes. Nice. And one will be actually a partnership with businesses mm -hmm. that if a business wants to uh, be a part of that, they can have a, a paper gnome that will be customized, you know, like if it's the bank, sure. he might have a pile of money by his feet or whatever. Mm -hmm. and people will have a list where they can go around to businesses and check on those, fill in something about that gnome that they've seen at a business, which will drive traffic to, to sure. businesses, and then enter a prize drawing at the library, which we think will be fun, good for businesses, good for us. Absolutely. You know, people will see it at the business, it will drive traffic to the library, we hope, and people at the library will drive traffic to businesses. So we're excited about that. That is exciting. And we also will have another related but different gnome adventure for people uh, similar to if your kids have ever done flat stanley at school and they have this paper yes. and they go and take their you know flat stanley goes and does things sure, and you take, take his picture, picture. Mm -hmm. yes well we're going to have a gnome and you can have the gnome at home or you can have the gnome away from home you know the gnome sure. gnome on the roam you sure. can have gnome around town so if you take your picture with the gnome and send it in in all these various ways, you can win little gnome prizes. And That's fantastic. We'll have I'll, I'll pictures. I'll tell you right now, Kokomo for you will have a gnome. I would love to have one of those pet. Uh, we can sign up right now. You can you can collect all four <laughs> if you send us enough pictures. <laughs> That's fantastic. We're going to take a quick break and we'll be right back. We are back. And so, what are your goals? Just just to kind of give some final thoughts. What are your goals for the library and, and our community? Well, I'd really like to see the community be involved with us in the library mm -hmm. and 
to let us know how we can do our job better. Mm -hmm. So we, w we will be sending out some invitations for focus groups. We'll be doing probably a short survey and some other kinds of things. But if people have comments or, or ideas for us of how we can be more valuable in the community, we would love to hear that. Mm -hmm. So that's one thing. Mm -hmm. I'd like us to be out in the community more, similar to what we did at the mall or what we're, we'll be doing Which with the gnomes. Fantastic. So uh, seriously, the gnomes. <laughs> Make sure we, we get the information on that. So we want the library to be out and about, and we want people to be coming in and letting us know what we're doing. And if I had only one goal, if I could say just one overarching goal, it would be to be the best possible library we can be for this community and to long-term become a leader in the state and in the nation in terms of a library to watch. So and, and I think that we're aiming high. Yes, and I think it is geared that way because, honestly, if you haven't taken advantage of the free music downloads, that's one thing that I can tell you that I love. You know, there might be those three songs a week that you just don't want to pay the 99 cents or the dollar 29 for. You offer that free with your card. There's so many new things that they're offering. The language courses right there online. That there's so much technology. I truly believe we are headed in the right direction as far as what what you guys can offer and taking that reading level to the next step. So I congratulate you and I welcome you to the community. It's Thank so you. exciting to have you here and have your vision. And, and I know you'll be back in the hot seat. I know you will. <laughs> and the gnomes. They're coming soon, so thank you so much for taking time. Thank you.